M0 FXP, welcome back to the channel. All Star Link have released a new image called All Star Link 3. It's the latest image and can be used with the latest hardware software ETC. On the left, you are seeing the web admin portal link, the node link, and the ASL manual. There's a lot more to this. So I'm going to go through step by step in this video, just showing the links that we're going to need what we need to download and then go on to actually installing this. If you've never used an all star node before, here's one that I'm holding. OK, it actually has a radio board on top, so it's transmitting real radio. So when I turn up my 52 here. That is talking to the radio board inside my all star node which has a Raspberry Pi. This one has a 3B, but the new All Star Link 3 will run on the Raspberry Pi 5. Now, the, of course, a radio has to be connected to the Raspberry Pi inside here, and you can use the smaller uh, 0W2 ones. And then it, together they link with the software from All Star, and you can connect to hundreds and hundreds of different nodes. So it means you can use a, a normal radio, even a Bofang, even a very cheap radio, but be internet linked around the world and talk to someone in Australia, the USA, New Zealand, China, as if they were in the same room as you. It, it's that good, and I use it every day a lot, mostly with Hubnet, but you know, you can explore and talk to people anywhere in the world you want, and you can even link into the Echo Link system, uh, and there's other platforms like. Uh, DV switch uh, there's so much that you get from a node but this is just about installing the soft the new software also link 3 and nowadays you can buy a Raspberry Pi I, I think you'd get, probably get one second hand for about 25 you are going to need a SD card these are only about five pound on Amazon six pound an adapter for your PC so there you are. So you can plug the SD card into this adapter and then plug it into your computer. And we're doing Windows here. You're going to need to download the image from All Star, the new All Star 3 image. So I'm going to be doing this one here. All Star 3 dash ARM64 dash 3016 image dot XZ. That's the one I'm going to be adding. You're going to need an all star number. So that's very crucial. Here's my, this is my current node running right now, actually, in the background. But you're going to need an all star number. So you go to all star link, create an account and log in if you haven't already got one. And if I go here to node settings, these are my numbers that I've already created. And to create one, it's, you know, you do need a ham radio license. You just get to this page and all these links are in the description. This one will be, will be called Get Your Node Number. And I've got all these. And the spare one that I'm going to, I've decided to use is here, 539018. Crucial, because without that, nothing's going to work. Uh, so, And I have made a video getting that number. Uh, that's going to help you. There, is, There is also a forum that I will put in the description as well. And, you know, and if you really like the look of these kind of nodes and you want one with the latest, you know, All Star 3, I can put a link in as well. You can talk to this person because you have to make these. Yeah, they don't sell them in a shop, uh, these All Star nodes. Although nowadays there are a few more people making and selling them now. But otherwise you make it yourself. You buy it and you solder the correct parts on. You you uh, configure the SD card with All Star and, and do it yourself. And I've done a few, quite a few now. I'm not good at it at all. Uh, but it's quite satisfying that you make something and then suddenly all your radios work on it. That's very satisfying. And this is the Raspberry Pi imager. Again, I'll put a link in, click download, run it. And then when you open it, it you know, this is what it looks like on the right hand side. And you choose the image that you've downloaded from All Star. And then this program puts that image onto the micro SD card and you can configure it and add all the details so that you can find this via Wi-Fi or if you want, you can use your Ethernet and start communicating and changing the parameters because once you've got it on the card and you plug it into your Raspberry Pi, it will come on 
and you'll be able to communicate with it, but it won't have all the details that it needs to to use your all star number and, and to interact with your software. And that's that's what that's part of the process here. It, you've got to be got got to be patient, you know, dedicate yourself a good couple of hours on this, um, uh, but it's worth it in the end. So lucky for us, there are very clear instructions, um, which I will be following just here. I'll run through them now. So Raspberry Pi image includes includes the following to make a complete all star link. And then you've got all the I mean, I'm not going to read all of it, but step by step Pi appliance setup. OK, there's the imager. I'm just going to briefly overview this. There's the imager. You choose what Raspberry Pi you're going to use. And I'm going to use Pipe 3B because this this node already has 3B on it. So I'm like, well, if I want to actually talk to someone and show this in action, then I'm going to use this node. I won't throw away the old card. I'll keep that completely separate and I'll burn a brand new card for this um, just in case it goes wrong. And it may. Uh, so then you choose your Pi here to scroll to the bottom of the list appears and you use custom. And then there's the image. So you select custom, you select the image that you downloaded. And yeah, that looks like the same as the one that I was looking at where it ends in XZ. Edit the settings and then you start to edit these settings with your Wi-Fi password at home, your country ETC. Uh, and then you write. And once you've done that. Hopefully, um, let's just double check. Hopefully you can just plug it into your device and you'll have the IP address and you'll be able to communicate with it straight away. Because you would have set up the, uh, if you go back here, the host name, yeah? But you can do it, I think you could do it with an IP search. Anyway, I use Angry IP. And then you'll be able to connect to it and you get this window. And then after that, it's all about configuring it. And look, you can see the full configuration. So all the instructions are here. You you don't really need my video. If you follow this step by step, yeah, everything you need is here, okay, in these instructions. But I'll make a video loading this. I'll be making mistakes. I'll learn gradually. And as I go through, we'll see if we can get this thing working.